Hey guys, um, so I'm in the car right now with my mom. Say hi, mom. Hi. Um, we literally just left the clinic uh, from uh, all the videos you've seen and everything like that. And I was talking with Becky, and I said, now I just want to go over some real quick. I'm taking Intibio, and I, my next injection should be in a couple of weeks. Um, I really would rather not be taking this drug with everything that I'm doing to get better with you. What are your thoughts on that? And she goes, well, what are your TNF alpha levels? And I said, I don't know. And Intibio, for those of you that don't know, is a, um, a receptor blocker. It basically blocks my intestines' ability to accept TNF alpha. TNF alpha is an inflammatory module that your body sends out, uh, and it's systemic. Um, so like Humira, Zelgans, uh, Remicade, these drugs block your body from producing TNF alpha. Uh, Intibio blocks your intestines' ability to receive it floating around in your system. So. Um, she said, well, let's test your TNF alpha levels and see what they are. And I was like, wait a minute. Shouldn't my doctor have tested for those? And she goes, well, yeah, because if you don't have high TNF alpha levels, Intivio would never work for you. I was like, hold on, time out. So you mean to tell me there's a test out there that I can get blood work done to test and see if, number one, I even have an elevated TNF alpha level. And she goes, yeah, you can do that. We'll do it, no problem. My doctor that had the same chance that this doctor had back in January didn't test me for any of that. You just did your basic blood workup and put me on, um, uh, shoot, what the heck is it? Prednisone, uh, antibiotics, and Intibio. Now, I'm sorry, but if there's a test out there which can tell you if, number one, your TNF alpha levels are elevated so that you know that the drug that you're giving even has a chance at working. If my TNF alpha levels are not elevated, which is very possible with all the different things that I have going on, that that's not the cause... Intivio, which is $7,000 a month, would do nothing for me. I'm pretty pissed right now. I just can't believe... I, I, I know that a lot of doctors mean well, um, but so often with the conventional medical system, the system that we have is broken. It, it, I can't believe that you would put me on a drug that's $7,000 a month that has lots of horrible, crazy long-term risks without even doing a $15 test to find out if the one thing that it's supposed to work against is even elevated in my body. Anyways, that's my little rant for right now. So thanks guys. We'll see ya.